Hello. Two months ago I posted a video of me moving my tomato plants on from the yoghurt pots that they'd been growing in into 10 inch water buckets. Did you see that video? Can you remember it? At the time the soil that I was using was already in the buckets but prior to that it had been in a wheelbarrow and that had given me the opportunity to mix in some additives that I thought would benefit the tomato plants and the cucumber plant as they grew on. So I added some magnesium salts and also some lime to add calcium. Now I'm not too sure that I got the quantities right and I'm not too sure where I could find out what the quantities should have been but I added them anyway and we are where we are today two months later. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to check the pH of the soil in these buckets because tomatoes like to grow at between 6 and 7 pH and I've got a 4 in 1 soil meter that can measure to that degree of accuracy. I will tell you now that I'm not actually recommending this meter I'm showing you it because it's the one I've got and I will tell you about one major downfall that it has and that is that it's digital. Now I think we all own mobile phones don't we? <laughs> and I think we all struggle when we try and look at the things outdoors when the sun's shining. Well it's exactly the same for this uh, digital soil meter. But I've got it so I'll use it. Uh, and the four things that it measures, uh, it measures brightness, it'll tell you if it's dull, it'll tell you if it's bright. I mean let's face it you hardly need a meter for that. Um, It'll measure wetness. If you put the probe uh, in a bucket or a pot, the probe will tell you the level of wetness in the soil. It measures temperature and that's mainly what I use it for. I've got it in my greenhouse measuring temperature and it's also a pH meter and it's a pH meter that has a, a zero of seven pH. So if we get a reading below seven then we know the soil's acidic and the lower that reading the more acidic the soil is and if we get a reading above 7 then the soil's alkaline and the higher above 7 we get the more alkaline it is. I'm not too sure that this meter will actually go up to the two extremities down to 0 and up to 14 but it'll certainly go down to uh, 3 or 4 and it'll probably go up to 10 or 12, I don't know. Uh, but I, know I know how far down it'll go because my soil's acidic. Uh, so yeah, I know how far down it'll go. But I've never used it in soil that isn't acidic. So I don't know how high it'll go in terms of measuring um, how alkaline the soil might be. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, um, I'm going to use the soil meter to test the pH in all of my buckets and there are 10 of them and I'm going to do it in three different places on all 10 buckets that will give me 30 readings and I'll do an average uh, and we'll do the same for the cucumber and then we'll decide um, just how acidic or alkaline this soil is and what we need to do to perhaps move it in the right direction. Right let's do that. Oh by the way I'll tell you now I'm not going to put all 33 soil readings on video so don't worry you're not going to have to watch this uh, while I stick this probe in 33 times. Okay let's do it.
Well, how accurate do you think that meter was? Three different readings in every bucket. But one thing in common. They were all a bit too acidic for my liking. If we want to be between six and seven, then we need to adjust the acidity in that soil, don't we? And this is the way we're going to do it. But before I get onto this, let me just make one uh, one other point. Um, when you use a soil meter, for it to work correctly, it requires the soil to be wet. Uh, and so before I took those readings, I'd actually just watered the tomato plants and the cucumber. So the soil was wet. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably confident uh, we've got a good contact there. We've got those readouts. I'm not that confident of the meter and the readouts, but I am confident that my soil's just too acidic. If tomatoes like to grow between a pH of 6 and 7, my soil is too acidic. And the way to adjust that is with lime. So we're going to add lime to these buckets now. Well, I've made a lime wash. Got this out of our plastic recycler. Oh, are we advertising? Got this out of our plastic recycler. It's got rainwater in there actually. And I've put some um, garden lime in there. A couple of spoons full of garden lime. So when I turn this upside down, and shake it about a bit. We're going to have a lime wash in here. Yeah, that's what we're going to have. We're going to have a lime wash. There you go. Can you see that? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add that to a couple of small watering cans that I've got. I don't know if these are in shot. Might be. I'm just going to Add this to these two watering cans and then water it on. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, and we'll split it between the two watering cans. So I reckon if I go to about that line there is half and half. And this incidentally is also the final watering that these tomato plants are going to get today. So we're killing two birds with one stone. We're putting a lime wash on and we're watering the tomato plants. Yeah, that looks about half and half. So I'll just fill these two up with water now, then water the buckets. And that's it. That's it. Now, I'm not too sure. Hold on. Is there someone I left in there? There is. Let me just uh, give this a shake up. Hold on. We'll get it all out. Hey, waste not, want not. <laughs> waste not, want not. Times are hard. Especially if you've just lost your job through COVID-19. Blimey, times must be hard for some. Uh, just stay in your garden, whatever you do, stay in your garden. If there's no COVID in your garden, why would you want to go out? Why would you? Just stay where you're at. Okay, so I'll top these two up with water. Then we'll water this lime wash on. And there's one thing I know with absolute certainty, although I don't know where the pH of these buckets is going to finish up, I do know they will be less acidic after I put this lime wash on. They'll be moving towards where we want the pH to be. And that's the best I can do. That's the best I can do.
yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're growing tomatoes, I hope they're doing well for you. I'm quite pleased with mine so far, but I don't want to put the kiss of death on them by saying how well they're doing. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with them so far. Uh, hey, let's hope we can get some nice tomatoes out of this before the end of the year and a few cucumbers. Okay, so this is homegrown veg. Signing out.